Hey everyone, I'm back, and my hair looks hella fluorescent right now. Um, it's really not this bright. Well, the pink is still this bright, but like the orange isn't as bright in person as it is on camera. Anyways, I'm going to do a quick little Ulta haul for you. Um, I ordered a bunch of nail polish, so it's a nail polish haul. So yeah, I'm just going to get right into it. Um, actually, I'm going to go in with like the samples. It's just two perfume samples. One is the Giorgio Armani C. Passion. That's far I don't know how to say it. And the other one is Kelvin Klein Eternity for Women. Hair. Alright, now I'm going to do the nail polish. I'll start with arguably the least exciting one. And they also use bubble wrap base, which is super nice. You can reuse those for a lot of things. Uh, anywho, this is the China Glaze Chic Physique Minis. Can you see them? I looked at some swatches and I really like one of them and I kind of wanted to... I also need to kind of... I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, it comes with these six colors. There are, I think, like nine or something from this collection. I'm not positive, but I wasn't, I wasn't going to use all these shades in like big bottles, so I just... But the minis would have been good. I think this was about $15. I really wanted this color, which is Pilates Please and Glamletics. Those are the two that I really wanted. The other ones are also really nice. They're all, well, I lied. Three of them are cream. Three of them have like shimmer, like glittery bits in it. So there's that. I want to do more exciting ones. Four. Also, all from China Glaze. And the reason why they're the exciting ones is because they're the holographic ones. Can you see it? Can you see it? Kind of. You can kind of see it. Oh my god, the cap is also holographic. Oh, it's kind of cracked. It's okay. But these are all from the re released OMG collection that was huge. I'm pretty sure China Glaze was like the first brand to come out with holographic polish that was in the mainstream so I'm super excited so I got this one which is OMG like the OG holographic one my nails aren't painted because initially the tracking thing said it would come on like three days ago and it didn't come yet so I also have to paint my nails but I didn't know that the lids are also holographic that is freaking rad so this is a silver one Next, this one's lid is not cracky. It is the pinkish one, which is BFF. Wait, I got that one. It's like the pinky one. You see, this one you can kind of see the holographic better, like the rainbowy parts. But yeah, there's that. Oh. Then, I got the blue one, which is in it tonight, which I wasn't sure about the blue one, but here we are. And the last one, which I think there's, what, six? I think there's six in them, because I didn't get the purple one, or I think there's one more. I'm not sure. I'm going to go look that up. And the last one I got, which I'm the most excited for, honestly, is TTYL, Talk to You Later, which is this really nice coppery one. Some of the hollow kind of like subtle, but this one's probably the one I'm most excited about, along with this one. The other two I'm still pretty psyched about. So yeah, <laughs> super excited. I haven't bought nail polish in a very long time, I'll be honest. I mean, I bought stuff from, shoot, what's that nail thing? I was going to do a video on it and I never did. I should though, but it's for like gel nail stuff. So I bought like a bunch of nail powders and a top coat and a base coat from them, but I never did a video on it, which I, sh I should put that in the mental note. Um, but otherwise, I haven't bought nail polish in a very, very long time because I had so many. And I did this huge nail polish cleanse because I had, like, 500 or some. Like, I had a, 
a ridiculous amount just in boxes and like plastic bins. So I decided to clear a bunch of them out and I was going to give them to an, a woman's shelter, but I like donate them because they're still usable. They're just not colors I wear, but they're still sitting in my house. Whoops. Um, I will for real need to get on that. But that's it. I have just, I've been really excited. I wanted these polishes because I thought I have the holographic nail powders from that site that I can't remember for some reason. But I have the nail powders for it, but that's for gels. And I don't always want to take like the hour it takes me to do my nails for gel at home. So I thought nail polish will just be super easy because I don't have to worry about base coating, cure it. Color, cure it. Clear coat it, cure it. Buff, 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 buff. <laughs> Another coat, cure it. Like it takes a long time if it's like like 15 or 30 seconds for every layer so you multiply that by however many layers and then you multiply the how many fingers it takes a long time and i'm slow so there's that so i just thought let's just get nail polish i haven't done it in a while so i only have one holographic nail polish actually and it's from color club which was another highly rated recommended hyped <coughs> lauded um holographic nail polish <coughs> sorry collection I only got one from that collection, and it's also the silver one. It's really nice, but I thought, let's just do it. Yeah, that's it. If you guys like, if you guys are holosexuals, am I allowed to say that? I feel like the first YouTuber I saw that liked holographic like I did was um, Leanne from Leanne Says. She was like the first YouTuber for me that talked about holographic stuff. She's like, look at these shoes, look at this bag, look at this. Like, she was the first person to talk about holographic on YouTube for me but a lot of other people think Simply Neological is like the mother of hollow I'm just like Leanne started it all just saying changed my mind anyways thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys next time bye